Hey guys, so I probably get a DM every day about how I edit my photos and what apps I use. So I thought it would be cool to share with you exactly how I edit my photos, what apps I'm using, and how I get the look that I have on my Instagram. The first thing I must say is that I only shoot on my camera. I use a Sony A6000 with a 16 millimeter lens. I also have a Sigma 30 millimeter lens that I use and I shoot in raw. So when I put my preset, which I'll show you on Lightroom on it, it works better on a raw photo, but you can also use it on JPEG if you shoot with JPEG or if you only shoot with your phone. But raw would be the best way to shoot any photo because it makes it a lot easier to edit the photo. So after I upload the pictures, the first thing that I do is open Lightroom on my computer. When I have Lightroom open, I go to File and I import the photos. So you can just find whatever folder you put the photos in and just upload them from there. When they're importing, you just go to the Develop tab because that's where you're going to be able to edit them from. On the left, there are like different options, including your preset options. And that's where all your presets will be stored. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Miss Inosha 1 preset that I've been using on all my photos lately. I just turn down the warmth a little bit. Sometimes it's perfect, but you know, on each picture you have to adjust it. So I turn down the warmth and that's usually all I, have to, I ever have to do on the picture. Sometimes I do a little more, but honestly, that's mostly what I do. And then I just copy and paste the edits onto the next photo. And sometimes it's perfect. Sometimes I have to tweak it a little bit. The most I'll do is Put the warmth down so mess with the white balance I will put up the shadows sometimes and either put down or up the exposure that's usually the extent of the editing I do that's the beauty of the preset you don't have to really edit too much So I'm going to go ahead and show you some before and after so you can kind of see the difference of each photo. I love my photos a little bit more warm with like a warm undertone. I think it goes really well with my skin tone and I just make sure it's not overly saturated because you don't want to be too orange. I just love how this preset makes the pictures just look just amazing I love it it tones down a lot of the colors so nothing is like popping too crazy and for me that just makes my feed look really cohesive I went ahead and left a link below if you want to shop my preset all right now that you have all your edits I'm gonna go ahead and export it I like to just keep it in the same folder as the original photos and it will create a new subfolder within that so you'll always know where to find it I usually leave the name Lightroom I know that those are my Lightroom edits, but you can title the folder whatever you want it to be called. Once the photos have exported, I'm going to quit Lightroom and then I'm going to show you how if I need to remove an object or tweak the photo a little more before I send it to my phone, I'm going to show you how I remove objects on Photoshop and that's a step I take before I send the photos over and post them on Instagram. So I love Adobe Bridge. It is a program that comes automatically with Photoshop. It organizes everything in your computer and it just makes it easy to find everything. So I'm going to go in the folder and I'm going to choose the photo that I want to edit. This photo has a pair of shoes in the background. I accidentally let my, left my flip flops in the back and it looks not very cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. So if you 
hold command J down. I'm using a Mac computer. It creates a new layer in Photoshop and I'm going to edit on that layer so that I'm not messing with the original photo so I can always like go back or delete it and my photo will stay intact. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stamp tool. You can press S for that or it's the one that highlighted on the left and you just press option click. You click the part of the photo that you want to stamp down. So I'm taking parts of the wood that don't have the shoe in it and I'm putting it over the shoe so it's kind of masking the shoe and covering it up. A lot of times you don't have to be super detailed in these because you're not, um, it's something in the background that people aren't even really going to notice. Um, I can do a more extensive video on it if you want to know how to do like minor details and really like small things that you just have to really do it well I can go over that so leave a comment below if you want me to do that so well, now I'm just looking at it to make sure everything looks okay toggling back and forth taking out the layer and putting it back in to see you know how it looks and then I'm going to save the image now I'm just gonna save it as a JPEG and it's gonna go into the same folder so you can replace your picture all together if you want or you can just save it with a new name so that you have the original and then this new edit that you put on it. So now I am going to quit out of everything and I'm going to airdrop myself the photos. I have to tell you guys, AirDrop has changed my life. I got a new laptop this year and my old one was so old I couldn't AirDrop on it, but now I can AirDrop. So what I do is I just find the folder that the photos are in and then I just click them all. Now I'm skipping the photo that is unedited, the one that has the shoes in it. I'm not choosing that one, I'm choosing the new edit. And then I'm gonna go to share and then I'm going to AirDrop it to my phone. I'm telling you, it makes life so much easier. And once it's on my phone, I'm gonna go ahead and do additional edits on some apps that I love using. If you don't have AirDrop, you can always email the pictures to yourself. That's usually what I would do. And then I would open it up on my phone and download it to my phone. So all the pictures are here. And now I'm gonna show you how I edit on my phone. I'm opening the Snapseed app. I love Snapseed. And I'm just gonna find the first photo I wanna edit. And this is the main three things I always do in every picture. I go to details, I change, I add some structure to it, add some sharpening, way more sharpening than structure. And this varies for each photo, I just eyeball it. And then I go to tonal contrast and I turn down the mid tones because that sometimes it's just a little too harsh. So I don't like to have too much contrast on the mid tones. And then I go to grainy film. And I put the style strength all the way down because all I want is the grain. I don't want it to further edit the picture. And that is it. I save it. I modify the original photo. And that is mostly what I do on all my photos. It's super easy. It's honestly, I, I do this 90% of the time. Sometimes I might have to do minor tweaks or different things messing with the saturation. So I'll show you that too. But for this photo, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did on the last photo mess with the sharpening, add tonal contrast, and then I'm going to add grainy film. I just want the grain. And that's it. I go and I export it and I modify the original photo. Super easy. This is such a great app. So now I kind of want to show you how I remove an object from a photo using an app on my phone because sometimes I use the app instead of using Photoshop. It depends on if I already sent myself the photo or if it's just a really minor thing. I'll just use an app. So I just edited that really quickly. I did the same three things I always do. Then I'm opening the Touch Retouch app. I'll link all the apps below. Choosing the photo that I want to edit. And now I'm going to zoom in. So my little chunklas in the back are not cute. Killing my vibe. I forgot to move them. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and trace around it. And I'm going to press go. And then voila, it disappears. It's amazing. So if you're not good at Photoshop, if you don't have Photoshop, 
This is another option to remove things from your photos. And like I said, because it's way in the back, it doesn't require you to just make it look perfect. I know that's probably not, most people will probably be like, no, it has to be perfect, but nobody's gonna notice that thing in the back. You just wanna make sure it's gone and that it doesn't look crazy, warped, or distorted. Then I'm gonna go ahead and modify the original, and that's that. So another thing you guys asked me is how to add dust. It's like a vintage look to your photos, like dust and scratches. Looks like an old Polaroid or old photos you found back in the day. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So when I'm done removing my object and editing it, I open the app Afterlight. Afterlight has all different dust and scratches. You just go to the category, you can click all the numbers below. I love number six and number nine, those are my favorite. You can mess around with um where the placing is and i just make sure like there's not too many scratches or dust marks on my face or awkwardly placed on my body so i just kind of toggle around until i find like a placement of the dust and scratches that i like i use i use number six then i go to number nine and i do the same thing then i just save it and that's it so the last thing i want to show you is adjusting the brightness and the saturation Sometimes I need to change that in the photo as well. So you go to tune image and you tone down the brightness. You can do contrast, you can do saturation, you can do the warmth. This is where you can really get into editing the photo. Because I have the preset, I don't have to use this one too crazy, but sometimes my photo still is a little too bright after I sent it to my phone or still a little too saturated. And I will use the tune image option in Snapseed to adjust that. And then I just go through the same things that I do with the other photos and then save it. Now it's time to organize my photos and post them. So I use the Planoly app. This app is amazing. It keeps me on my toes and just I can organize my entire feed and know what it's going to look like before I post. I just love to have a cohesive feed so this is really important for me. So what you do is you upload the photo or the photos you want to add and you can kind of mess around with the placement of it. So I have already other photos in here that were already edited and queued to post and I can just mess around with the order and like put it in the order that I like. And you can delete any photos that are not published yet that you don't want to put in your feed. And they also have placeholders so you can add a little space, you can pick the color that you want. It kind of helps you push the photos down and so you can kind of see how three in a row look. Another thing I love is that you can write your caption. And so when I'm working with friends or if I just already know what I want for my caption, I can write it here and I can save it and then it's just right there for me, waiting for me. So you can publish from Planoly and it'll open the Instagram app and have your caption and photo ready for you. I don't like to publish from the app. I just copy paste the caption and I save the photo and I post it directly on Instagram. I just like to post that way. You can post from the app if you like. And then these are all my edited photos. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. You guys have been asking me for a very long time how I edit my photos. It's kind of ever changing, but this is what I've been doing for the past month or so. And I really love how my photos are turning out. Having a preset has been really, really helpful to just keeping my feed cohesive. And I love how it, it makes the photos look. If you want to shop my preset, I left a link below. It only works with Lightroom, um, but it is amazing and if you know Lightroom if you want to learn Lightroom I'll leave a link below where you can buy it it's only $9.99 a month it's a package with Lightroom Photoshop and Bridge so you can have all those programs for only $10 a month so I know sometimes they seem really expensive but that's they have a subscription service that makes it really affordable so I hope this editing process works for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to help in any way. If you want any other app suggestions, I can also leave some below as well. And I'm going to leave all the apps I use below. Happy editing, guys. If you use my presets, be sure to hashtag Miss Anosha presets so I can see them and I can shout you guys out. I'll see you guys next time. Where I go, you always go It's harmful to tell me no Cause I got you Tell the popo that I said so 
Want the doctor cause he don't know That it's 